If we have actionable intelligence about high-value terrorist targets and President Musharraf will not act, we will. Fox News analyst Laura Schwartz. I, you know, I thought he was smart to do that mm -hmm. because obviously he's not going anywhere in the polls for the last four months and he's got to get out and he's got to be a credible, serious person and terror yes. is a big deal. Um, but his voting record, you know, he's a voted against funding for U.S. troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, pretty soft on um, pretty much all aggressive terror action. Do you believe this or was just posturing? Well, I really think of it in two ways. One, it's incredible posturing. It's political strategy. With Hillary Clinton up 21 points this month, that's an increase from 14 points last month over Obama. Her characteristics that people are pulling on are competency and experience. So Obama has to go beyond the change message and try to take up that bar. He did a nice speech today. He went to an academic institution. I thought he delivered it well. It was strong. But... It's tough to move on from here unless he sticks with this message and is very serious about it because things that he said about Pakistan, for example, that you've been previewing, it's very interesting. Musharraf sure doesn't seem as capable as our U.S. military is in getting al-Qaeda as they've regrouped in that northwest portion of Pakistan. But we also have to think ahead. And if there wasn't more Musharraf, Musharraf, who would there be? Well, that's right. And that's why Bush hasn't done anything because if you invade Pakistan, all the crazies in Pakistan rise up all right, it's, first of all, it's a bloodbath. Mm -hmm. You know, it's easy for Obama to say, if we have actionable intelligence, we'll go. Absolutely, get, that's a whole that's, different level. Yeah, that's easy to say, but if you put ground troops in there, you're going to be shooting kids and women because that's just the way it is mm -hmm. up there. There are going to be people, guerrilla warfare and, and people in the mountains and this and the other thing. So it's easy for him to say that. And the other thing, as you pointed out, is if U.S. invades a sovereign country, i.e. Pakistan, then Musharraf has got to going to have a revolution on his hands. But there's a really fine line between invading Pakistan or going after Al-Qaeda. The Al-Qaeda that came and killed 3,000 Americans on 9-11, yeah. that has regrouped. They're hiding in Pakistan. Uh, exactly. Right. And I believe that the U.S. military, we should be able to go in there and get them because you, the Shah of sure happens. What is the unintended consequence of going in well, and getting them? that is the second thing. A revolution in the country. Exactly. But you'd think there would be some way to no, Musharraf there isn't has his any own way. problems of his own self. He, he said he'll help us get Al Qaeda, make a tribal pact. Well, that didn't Look, work at first. Musharraf could do it if he wanted to, but Musharraf's looking out for Musharraf. So, what's the catalyst to get Musharraf to do it? I don't know. Maybe See, more money. I don't know. But I'll tell you what: if Obama's going to take that stand, that tough guy, I'll if I'm President Barack Obama, I'm going to invade Pakistan. Then he's got to say. I, I'm going to live with the unintended consequences. You would have in Pakistan a revolution if we went in there. Mm -hmm. That's huge. They have We've, nuclear weapons. Absolutely. If the fundamentalists win, which they might, all right, the army might turn against Musharraf, the Pakistan mm -hmm. army, and start. we might be fighting the Pakistan army. Right. We don't know what would happen. So my point is, Oh, good speech by Obama. The guy's a brilliant speaker, I Absolutely think. He's charismatic. Incredible. But he says this, and wh what are we supposed to do as Americans? Are we supposed to believe that he would do it? I don't know. You know, I think all the Democrats agree on the fact that they feel President Bush took his eye off on the war on terror when he went into Iraq, and we let Afghanistan have the resurgence of the Taliban, and we let al-Qaeda resurge yeah. in northwest Pakistan. I believe that they all think all options should be on the table with dealing with all of these horrible terrorists. But we do have to look to what else. What happens after we go in and Musharraf maybe is outed by his own country? We didn't look at what was going to happen after we went into Iraq. That's right. That's we a good point. We didn't, we didn't say if it doesn't go well in Iraq, what's it going to come yeah, back to bite us? And it's come ask. back to bite us. The same thing in Pakistan. So anyway, uh, you, you say that this was posturing mm -hmm. by Obama, and but, smart. but smart posturing. Absolutely. Got to be a terror warrior. But the unintended consequences, do you think he has a clue about them or what? I think he does. I think he made up a very relevant point from when there were some opportunities on actionable intelligence. Well, what happens? Hey, you know what? He doesn't have to send a ground trip in there. Let's talk about predator drones and other mm -hmm. options. If they, but if they, then but again, believe me, if they knew where Osama and his pals were, a predator would only be right up their nose. Now, so what, what if like that, that cost Musharraf the presidency? Nah, that's the way it goes. But that's with a drone, they would do it. It's different than they going in with an armed force. That's absolutely right. Laura Schwartz, everybody. Thanks for coming in.